No, well, she can't be that intelligent, Alex. Of course, that, that video emerged of her last week on the pretend phone to an American actress where she was saying, yeah, I'm out here on the streets. You know, she was trying to get all cool, play it cool, look at me, I'm, I'm the everyday American. I don't think that did her any favours if she was indeed looking to run. What do you think? No, she tries to be a woman of the people, but even she said that there shouldn't be voter ID laws because African-Americans can't go to Kinko's and print out documents. So she has the lowest expectations of the African-American community, and she makes everything about race and gender. And I would say that that's racist when you make everything about race and gender. So she's a hypocrite, she's untalented, and she's not smart. And sadly, here in America, that shows you how great of our country is when she is one of the top leaders of the free world. It makes me sick sometimes when I have to realize how crazy that reality is much stranger than fiction. Yeah, well, her IQ is clearly quite low. The president of the United States can't even stay awake. What a fantastic time, uh, Alex Stein, to be an American. Now, look, a Philadelphia radio station has cut ties with the host who admitted to asking President Biden questions that were supplied to her by his team. Andrea Lawful Sanders scored the first post-debate post interview uh, with Biden last week, but fatally admitted that she was fed eight questions by his team and used four of them. You asked four questions, and maybe that's what you were allowed to ask by uh, the campaign or the White House, but they were essentially the same questions, both interviews about accomplishments, progress in your respective state, what's at stake in the election, what he has to say about his debate performance, and what he would say to voters who think uh, their vote doesn't matter or might sit this election out. Were those questions given to you by the White House or did you have or the campaign or did you have to submit questions ahead of this interview? The questions were sent to me for approval. I approved them. OK, so the White House sent the questions to you ahead of the interview. Yes. yes. Alex, look, the lefty media have protected Biden for so long and now they're feeding questions. Ultimately, she's paid the price, though surely she should have used her own independence to not ask Biden-based questions. Well, that's a fair assessment from you, but even Howard Stern, one of the most legendary broadcasters in American media history, he gave Joe Biden a very softball-approved interview just like that. So I guess that's the only way that these people get access is by having this approved, you know, pre-written questions that they can just only ask. But what's so terrible about this is I think Joe Biden should be charged with a hate crime. That's an African-American woman that lost her job because of him. So he deserves to go to jail. If Donald Trump, if they're trying to put Donald Trump in jail, put him in jail because that African-American woman did not deserve to lose her job. No, definitely not. But I just don't understand. I mean, I know that media or uh, government organisations, they submit questions. But, you know, in the end, if Biden wants to prove that actually he has got something left up there, surely he needs to come out and just try and be himself, not have all these pre-scripted questions. Well, I mean, obviously, but the guy can't even answer any of these questions. He can't answer a simple question. He starts talking about highways. He talks about his son, Bo, and how he passed away in the war when really he passed away from cancer. So he can't even speak on his own personal experiences. So they can't let him do an interview like that. They literally cannot. So that's where we're at. We have, we have a president that cannot be asked an improvisational question and give a coherent answer. Very sad, but that's the reality in which we live in right now. Yeah, it certainly is. Alex Stein, thank you.